What's up, everybody? This is Chromafx Films, and I am going to be continuing off of my last tutorial about skyboxes. I am actually going to show you guys how to make a basic FPS player with two weapons, uh, provided with the scripts that Unity gives you. So, let's get started. Now, in my scene, I just have a basic floor, and that's all we need, just so the guy can stand on it and walk around, I guess. So let's quickly add a texture onto it. I have a bunch of junk textures. <laughs> Alright, chrome. Wow, it looks so weird. Alright. So, you're going to go to your character controllers that... Oh, and by the way, all these files that I'm using, you can get with the FPS tutorial. Um, you can download it off of the Unity website. I will post the link in the description of this video. And you should be able to download all the files there. So that's you should download those if you don't have those yet, you should download those so you can keep up with me and have all the files that you need. Alright. So assuming that you have all of them now, I'm going to start. Now, over here in the character controllers, you're going to uh drag in the FPS player. So just make sure he's not in the ground because if he is in the ground when you start, your guy will just keep falling and falling, which you don't want that. So all right, yeah, basic guy. Uh, I personally don't like high sensitivity um, uh, mouse, so I would set it to three just for tutorial uses. Now nah, you can change it to whatever you want. If you're comfortable with 15, that's fine. So, um, okay, click the camera and click F. So now you're focused on it. Then click game object and create empty. Now we're going to name this um, weapons. And you're going to say put that as a child to the main camera. All right, now don't get out of the uh, don't don't rotate the camera yet because we guys still got to be focused. All right, create another game object and call this uh, <laughs> machine gun, like I do. All right, now we got that, and we're just gonna create one more, and we're gonna call this uh, big fat gun. All right. Now, over on the weapons object, go down here where it says uh, weapon scripts, player weapons. Drag that onto the weapons, and and that's what that script um, creates the function of holding two weapons at once. So if you don't have that script, um, all your other machine gun scripts, uh, child objects will not work. So you need to have this in there. Now, okay. So let's let's. Let's quickly import in a gun model that we'll be using now. Um, I actually have a custom gun model. Here it is. Alright, and just position it however you want. Um, I, I personally have a certain way that I position it to the camera. I don't like it like too, too high up above the camera or too low. It's kind of like right there. Yeah, something like that. All right, and rename this. Rename whatever your object is to uh, machine gun or little machine gun, and make this a child object of the machine gun. All right, and now in big fat gun, you can actually. Um, I am going to. I'm using big fat gun because I'm just going to duplicate this and make it like a really big fat gun. Because I only have one gun model, I know it's cheesy, but it's just an example to show you uh, how the uh, FPS system works. So I'm going to position it like a little bit higher, a little bit back, you know, and I'm going to erase the hand because we don't need that. All right, now you have these two guns. Uh, this duplicate, I'm going to name it. Uh, big fat gun and I'm going to make that a child object of the big fat gun uh, uppercase object alright that is we're almost in here now go down back to your weapon scripts and drag on the machine gun script onto both the machine gun and the big fat gun uh, parent objects now over here uh, it, this is the machine gun script that has the range on how far you can shoot, the fire rate, force, damage, bullets per clip, clip, reload time, and 
the muzzle flash. So uh, I'm quickly going to import in uh, the. I'm going to make the muzzle flash. So uh, I do it. I do it this way. Uh, there are many ways you can do it, but I just do it this way because I actually don't have a muzzle flash model. So I'm just going to use a texture, which that works too. You can make a, a muzzle flash any way you want. All right. Okay, I have a texture for muzzle flash. I'm just going to drag that on there, and as you can see, it's simple, very basic. It's just got the shape, nothing special. All right, and I'm going to position that in front of the barrel, like so. And I'm going to duplicate it and add another one next to the big, the big fat gun barrel. And I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger, just to show that the gun's like more powerful or something. All right, so this is going to be. Uh, B F, not best friend. It's big fat. <laughs> B F muzzle flash, and then the other one's gonna be little machine gun muzzle flash. All right, and you're going to make those. Um, the little machine gun muzzle flash. You're going to make it a child object of little machine gun. Yes, continue. And the. BF muzzle flash, you're going to make it a child object of the big fat gun object. Alright, now that you got those done, we're going to set them, set the muzzle flashes in the script. So, the big fat gun, you're going to set this muzzle flash according to uh, the parent object. And down here, on machine gun, you're going to set that one. Alright, now that should be it. Well, Actually, before I play it, I'm going to change the fire rate of the big gun because bigger, slower it shoots, the more powerful it sounds. I'm going to make it fire rate 0.4. Now, uh, the fire rate is really um, not—it's not that sensitive, so you have to change it a lot in order for it to get slower. So 0.4—it's considerably slower, but you'll—you'll you'll notice it. You can play around with that for a while, and then you'll figure it out. All right, and I have. I'm just going to add a couple gun sounds. So I have a Barrett gunshot, which I'm going to use for the big fat gun. Uh, turn off play on a wave because uh, when you start the game, it will play it if you if that's not checked. So uh, go to machine gun, and I have uh, F2000 gunshot. So you can use that. You can use whatever sounds you want. And this this is all just for um, tutorial use. And you can change it to whatever you want. I'm just giving you the uh, basic system of how it works. So now that I have the gunshots in there, if I play it, all right. So if you click one and two, it changes the guns. So as you can see, this is the big fat one. Not much fatter, but yeah, you can tell. It has no hand. And the other one's a machine gun. So if you fire, uh, well, it's pretty fast fire rate. <laughs> and if you go to the other one, I'm shooting a lot slower. So as you can see, that these are two completely different systems. Now I could add, um, I could add spark systems, but um, you guys can actually. I'll I'll tell you how to do the spark system. <laughs> All right. So maybe I'll have a sparks. Yes, I have sparks in here. Okay. I'll just use the cheap ones that come with Unity for now. You are going to make the. All right. Let's see. I'll make this sparks the child object of machine gun. And let's see if this this works. Ah, okay. I think that is because my muzzle flash has a collider. That is why. All right, your muzzle flash objects. See what I did? I have a box collider that should not be on. Um, if you have like visors and stuff, and you don't use uh, GUI textures, <clears throat> uh, and you use an actual game object make sure that it does not have a collider because your camera will not be moving correctly if you do if you have a collider so you got to watch out for that mm -hmm. ah all right there you go mm -hmm. that is how you make a basic fps system mm -hmm. now uh, i could add the sparks to the other object but it's the same thing just you could just duplicate it and then uh, make it a child object of the uh, big fat machine gun so there you go. You got your basic FPS system. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you now know how to make it. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to answer them.
So thanks guys.